In the past, you would have to spend a ton of money to receive expert advice, or you spend thousands just to spend a few hours with a professional consultant. But how does that help, especially when you're just starting out or creating a brand new business? Because in the beginning, you don't have many resources, much less money, to pay for professional advice. But now, that's all changed. And thanks to ChatGPT, we can immediately receive a game plan, advice, or answers for any subject matter. But not only that, you can now instantly create a step-by-step -step strategy for success. That used to cost thousands of dollars, but not anymore. So in this video, I'm going to share an amazing prompt I discovered. It's called the Tree of Thoughts, Deliberate Problem Solving with Large Language Models. What this prompt does is turn any problem you have into a success, and it's actually based off of scientific research. See, here's the actual paper. I actually discovered it on this Twitter handle right here. So thank you to the creator, Florian. This prompt is too good not to share. For the ultimate prompts database or for hundreds of prompts to try, click the links in the description. So if you've seen this base before, this contains all of my prompts, literally all of them for any sort of subject or need. And we're gonna go to the act as prompts tab for any sort of situation where you need ChatGPT to act as a certain thing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Now this prompt is actually a four step process with amazing results. So make sure you follow each step, step by step. We're gonna first paste in one prompt and then based off of ChatGPT's answer, we're gonna paste in a second, a third, and then finally a fourth before ultimately getting all of our questions and problems solved. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is copy and paste this first paragraph right here. So in this case, this is just a simple example because I know a lot of people wanna sell digital products online. So I have two scenarios I'm gonna share with you. So the first one, Act as a digital marketing entrepreneur that is an expert in selling digital products online. Your task is to assist the user with difficult problems, okay? Let's go ahead and copy this first part right here. We're in 3.5, and I'll go ahead and paste the prompt down below. There it is. There's the prompt. Go ahead and hit that send button. Now, it's going to go ahead and acknowledge it knows exactly what you're talking about. There we go. That's part one. So here's part two where I have it highlighted right here. Now, keep in mind, again, I'm going to put in the bracket of text what you'll replace your problem with. I said, I have a problem related to, here's the bracket, selling digital products online. Now, after this bracket of text, you're going to describe the personal problem or advice you need. So here's the problem. Okay, I have it highlighted. I'm not selling much and not generating much interest from potential buyers. Describe the problem you're having, then just give ChatGPT some brief knowledge about yourself and a little bit of a background story. So I said some info about me. And then here I say, please consider a variety of factors. Okay, let's go ahead and then copy this part in. So back to ChatGPT. Now let me go ahead and then paste this in. I'm going to remove the bracket of text, even though it's not necessary, but here it is right here. Now watch this. Hit that send button and instantly it's going to start the brainstorming process right away. Here we go. It's going to provide a lot of information. So it says, I'd be happy to brainstorm three distinct solutions to help you improve your sales of digital products online based on your background and expertise. Now, the interesting thing to keep in mind is when I change my background up, if I replaced SEO with something else like a graphic designer, etc., it's going to give me some different results and a different brainstorming session just by simply changing up my background. Here we go. Leverage your SEO expertise with three bullet points. Then we have number two, leverage your past success. Number three, number four, look at this, five amazing points with then sub bullet points. Let's move on to part number three. Let me go back to the prompt. This one says for each of the three proposed solutions, evaluate their potential, consider their pros and cons, initial effort needed, implementation difficulty, potential challenges, and the expected outcomes. Let me go ahead and just copy this portion right here. Head back over here to ChatGPT. Watch this. Now I'm going to continue with the conversation. And what it does is now take each bulleted point. Look at this. And it's going to give me a ton of information that will be extremely helpful. Solution one, leverage your SEO expertise. Here are the three pros. And then here are the three cons right below it. Then it gives me the initial effort, moderate, implementation difficulty, moderate, and then it has the potential challenges, probability of success, and confidence level. We go down to number two, and then it does the same thing. Now, initial effort, low to moderate, implementation difficulty, low. So each point, it's going to give me sort of like a rating and ranking system. This is phenomenal but we're not done yet. Now moving on, let's take this a step further and really challenge ChatGPT to really take a much deeper dive. Remember, we want to get as much information, knowledge, and advice as possible. All right, back to my database. Now we're going to copy and paste 
this next prompt right here. For each solution, deepen the thought process. Generate potential scenarios. It's doing that immediately right now. And it's giving us a lot of content. Okay, if I scroll back up, let's take a look at this prompt. So here we are. I said again, deepen the thought process, generate potential scenarios, strategies for implementation, any necessary partnership or resources, and how potential obstacles might be overcome. Also consider any potential unexpected outcomes and how they might be handled. These two areas are going to be extremely helpful. Overcoming obstacles and unexpected outcomes, especially right here. Unexpected outcomes, if algorithm changes negatively impact rankings, be prepared to pivot. Amazing. Again, we'll do this with a different sort of business problem, but we'll get a completely different set of advice. All right, now let's go ahead and get this very last part right here. And this is personally my favorite. It says, based on the evaluations and scenarios, rank the solutions in order of promise. Provide a justification for each ranking and offer any final thoughts or considerations for each solution. Okay, interesting. Let's go ahead and see what this says. Now, ChatGPT, based on the evaluations, here's a ranking. Part one, solution three, enhanced product presentation and value proposition. We have the justification with the final thoughts. And then it does this for solution one, leverage your SEO expertise, all the way down to solution two, leverage your past success. So if I scroll back up, look how long this information tree really is. We started up here and we're basically going to get everything that we need to make a key decision. Okay, so now let me show you how to do this in real time and then change it up with a completely different subject. I said act as a personal yoga instructor that is an expert in teaching people the basics of yoga. Everything else is the same. Copy this portion out right here, but again, I'll completely change up the subject and my problem. So let's remove the bracket of text as far as selling digital products online. I have a problem related to getting new yoga customers to come to my yoga studio and learn the basics of yoga. That's gonna be the main problem. Let me go ahead and then go into some more details. I'll delete this portion right here that says I'm not generating much interest in buyers. I'll say instead I'm having a hard time generating interest. Okay, some info about me. Let's change all this up right here. Let's just make up something fictional. I have 10 years of yoga instructing experience. I just opened up a new yoga studio. I have many yoga credentials and a deep background in proper techniques. So honestly, I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to yoga. I'm just trying to type in something completely fictional as I go, but let's just see how well this can actually work. Okay, so so far so good. Leverage your expertise, workshops, and seminars, okay? Free introductory classes. Hey, that's a great idea. Encourage attendees to bring friends or family, expanding your reach by word of mouth. Awesome. Online presence, create an engaging website, very important. Social media, email marketing, community engagement, and then AI-powered marketing use the power of AI. Okay, now here we go. Let's take it further. Here's the pros and cons of each part of advice. But look at this right here. If this information looks perfect. It's getting it exactly right. And then let's just go ahead and then wrap this up by copy and pasting the final ones. We have each bullet point with the sub bullet points of scenario one, strategy, partnerships, obstacles, unexpected outcomes. And then it does this again. And if you look at this, it's going to give me specific strategies based off of each scenario. For example, approach local businesses with wellness related services and propose mutually beneficial partnerships such as co-hosting events or offering joint promotions. Let's go on and then copy and paste the very final one, the ultimate decision maker right here. All right, so now it's done. Here is my favorite part. Based on the evaluations and scenarios, here's a ranking of the solutions in order of promise. Perfect. So it does it in order of promise. Online presence and marketing, justification, broad reach, number two, expertise, workshops, beautiful final thoughts and considerations. It's going to give us a conclusion of four good bullet points. And then it wraps it up by saying, ultimately, the most effective approach may involve a synergy of these strategies. So hopefully you found this video useful and that you could find this prompt four-step strategy very beneficial for you and then any business or venture that you're in. So thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah.